Hi, I'm Dan Morrison with Builder Magazine. I'm the new editorial director there. Um, reporting live from the International Builder Show here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been walking around the floor quite a bit today looking at various products and I saw two things that really stand out to me today. Both of them have to do with exterior finishes. Um, the first one is a stucco alternative. It's uh, applied over LP smart side siding, which is an OSB substrate. It's about a half inch thick and it's got a smooth facing on it. You tape the joints with a couple of different types of tape and then apply a trowel applied membrane. Looks just like stucco, but it doesn't have any of the cracking problems that stucco has. Doesn't have any of the denting problems. It seems like a, a durable solution to stucco siding, which is real popular regionally, but actually moving out in different parts of the country. Um, the other kind of cool thing about it is that it's more work for drywall people who uh, already are pretty good at installing trowel applied finishes. So that seemed like a good opportunity um, for builders that are looking to give their customers the stucco uh, without any of the callback headaches of cracks and mold and stuff like that. The other kind of cool product I saw, I saw outside in the show village, um, it's a product called Neopore by a company called Progressive Foam who works with BASF to make a better type of um, EPS foam board. And frequently, more and more people are adding exterior foam to their houses to eliminate thermal bridging problems. But when you do that, one of the problems is it's frequently a good idea to back ventilate your siding so that the paint lasts longer and you get less problems with uh, moisture intrusion. So the thing that's cool about this foam is it's got channels built right into the foam, so it's already a built-in drainage plane. So you install this foam, which is a little bit cheaper than XPS, but it's already got the ventilated channels in it, so you don't need to install furring strips. The other kind of cool thing about it is that there's graphite mixed in with the foam, so that boosts the R value a little bit by taking better advantage of radiant heat transfer within the little bubbles. It's probably not going to be that much, but the great um, benefit is in, on a sunny day, you know, if anyone's that, that's been on a job site on a, on a sunny day where there's, you know, white uh, foam on the outside or white house wrap will know how hard it is on their eyes. This grayish sort of colored foam is a lot easier on the eyes and it's going to be a lot easier on, uh, on builders installing exterior foam. So those are the two cool things I saw today, exterior stuff. Tomorrow we'll take a look at some interior stuff and um, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Right now I've got another appointment.